Welcome back to the Wargrove of Woe. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at all of the start collecting boxes and giving you the breakdown of which ones give you the best discount, the number of models, and how they stack up in terms of point cost in game. Without further ado, let's get started. First up is the Start Collecting Beast Claw Raiders. This box comes in at 95 US dollars. If you were to buy both of these kits individually, it would cost you around 135 US dollars. Uh, this box is discounted 30%, and it has the lowest amount of models you can get in a Start Collecting box at 5. If you were to get the points for this box, you would get 590 points. For Beast Claw Raiders, which is a fairly elite list or army, you could get two boxes and have a pretty decent 1k army. Then we'll hop over to Anvil Guard for Cities of Sigmar. These Dark Elves come in at 110 US dollars. If you were to buy the individual boxes, you would come out to a cost of around 179 US dollars. This box is discounted at 40%, which is about above average. You have 13 models and you have a fairly below average points in the box for 325. Overall, this box isn't bad. The only downside is the low amount of points you get in the box, but the discount is nice. Starting off with our first Chaos Army, we have Beasts of Chaos. The start collecting box is priced at 110 US dollars. If you were to buy the boxes individually, you'd come out to 160. This gives you an average discount of 32%. This box gives you a ton of models, 22 to be exact, and you get a fair amount of points, almost a quarter of a full army. This box is fairly average, and the big monster is the best thing here. You could build it as a Gorgon or the Saigor, and the Ungors are good for sacrificing to the Hearthstone. Next, we're going to be giving skulls to the Skull Throne and blood for the Blood God with Demons of Corn. The start collecting box comes in at 95 US dollars, and if you're to buy the boxes individually, you'll have a cost of 190. This box has a pretty good discount of about 50%. You get 14 models in this box, but the points are fairly low as Demons of Corn are, can be kind of cheap. You only get 370 points. This is a really, really good box, and I think picking up two is a great start as you can build the Herald on Skull Throne as the Skull Cannon, and you can get six Blood Crushers. Having more Blood Litters is always a good idea as well. Jumping over to the opposite end of the Demonic Spectrum, we have Start Collecting Demons of Slanesh. This box comes in at 95 US dollars, and the individual box cost is 105. Now this is a very pitiful discount, only 10%. You get 16 models, and you get 545 points. This is a pretty weak box, but it's still a discount regardless. Um, and you have quite a few options to pick from on the chariot for builds. Next up is Start Collecting Daughters of Cain. This box comes in at 95 US dollars, and if you were to buy the boxes individually, you'd have around 212 US dollars for the cost. This is a very good discount of about 56, one of the larger ones we have in all of the start collecting boxes. You get only seven models though, but you can build them in a multitude of ways, mostly revolving around what options you put on the Cauldron of Blood. Each of the heroes can be put on the Cauldron of Blood, just be aware that if you put the Hag Queen or the Slaughter Queen on the Cauldron of Blood, the Avatar of Cain also has to go on the um, Cauldron of Blood. The amount of points you get in the box is also pretty good at 665. Moving over to our first death faction, we have Start Collecting Flesh Eater Quartz. Flesh Eater Quartz box comes in at 95 US dollars, and the individual boxes are at 141. The discount is 33%, you have 11 models, and the points of the box are fairly high considering that it's a horde faction at 640. This box is good with a ton of build options for the large monster. You have several variants of that, but this box is somewhat lacking in the chaff department as you only get 10 crypt ghouls and those aren't gonna last very long. Moving over to the caves for the gloom spike kits. This box comes in at $110. The individual kits in the box 
are priced at 142 if you were to collect them individually. This gives you a lower than average discount of 23%. The number of models in the box is 16, not 14. I forgot to account for the two squig herders. And the points in the box is 380. I think this box is somewhat lower than average for most of the start collecting boxes. The points and the models are fairly low for Gloom's Bike Gets. Before I move on, I'd like to give thanks to our Patreon supporters and an extra special thanks to Nick Hoff. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, there's a link in the description below, as well as a link to our Discord. So if you'd like to come hang out, there's that. Moving on to the second Cities of Sigmar start collecting box, we have Greywater Fastness. This box is 110 US dollars, and if you were to buy the kits individually, it would be 163, excuse me, 64. The, this discount is exactly average at 33% and you get 12 models. The points in the box is slightly lower than average with 405. This is a good box and I think it has a better points to cost ratio than Anvil Guard. Moving into the deep sea, we have the Ideneth Deepkin. This box is 95 US dollars and the individual kits cost around 141. This gives you the average discount of 33% and you get 14 models in the box. For the points, you get 445. This is a good assortment of models with the new book, letting Namarti be somewhat viable, and having some eels is always a good idea. Moving over to destruction, we have start collecting iron jaws. This box is $110, but the individual kits cost around $175. This gives you a slightly higher than average discount of 38%. You get 14 models in the box and 455 points. This is a really good box and I think getting two is never a bad idea. You can always use more boys, another war chanter, and some gore gruntas. Next is start collecting Caradron Overlords. This box is 110, the individual kits are 132, giving you a smaller than average discount of 27. You get 10 models and a fairly sizable points at 300 or excuse me, 535. This box gives you a good assortment of units. The only thing that is somewhat lacking is the Arcanaut Company, but that's fairly cheap on itself. Back to corn, we have the Corn Mortals Star Collecting Box. This box is very, very cheap and the individual prices are fairly high. The box itself is 85, but if you were to try and get all of these kits individually, it would cost you 242. This is one of the highest discounts out of all of the boxes at 65%. You get a staggering 19 models and the points is 100, or excuse me, 510. This box is great because it also has two fantastic unique models, the Blood Secretor and the Mighty Lord of Corn. Unfortunately, there is some awkwardness in the number of models in the box, as with the older boxes. You will have to pick up two in order to run a legal amount of Blood Warriors. Next up is Seraphon. This box is 95 US dollars and the individual kits are 165. This gives you a higher than average discount of 43%. You get a good number of models at 19 and the points in the box are 485. Something to note with the Start Collecting Seraphon is there is a fantastic article on Lustria Online about how to get the most out of your Start Collecting Seraphon box. It is a good step-by-step -step tutorial on kit bashing and converting to get the absolute maximum out of this box and all of the pieces inside of it. So if you want to Start Collect Seraphon, then go check out that article. Next up we have Start Collecting Skaven Pestilence. This box is priced at 95 US dollars. The individual kits are 150. This gives you a slightly higher than average discount of 37. You get 22 models and the points in the box are 540. This box is great if you want to run a lot of clan pestilence units, but other than that, it's fairly underwhelming for other Skaven clans. Moving on to the other Seraphon start collecting box, we have start collecting skinks. This box comes in at $110. The individual kits are 190. This gives you a discount of 43%. You get 15 models in the box, and for the points, you have a pretty good 560. The best unit in here is probably the Skink Star Priest and the Bastilladon. Skinks are always useful, and you can never have enough of them. 
Moving on to the Spike Lords, the Slaves to Darkness. This box costs around 110 US dollars. The individual kits are 165, giving you the average discount of 33%. You get 16 models in this box, and the points are about 595. This is a great all-around box, perfect for starting a well-balanced Slave Starkness army. Next up is Soulblight Grape Lords. This box is 110 US dollars. The individual kits are 197. You get a discount of 45%. Pretty good. The number of models is higher than average at 27. Uh, excuse me, 26 and you get 510 points. This box is a little bit weaker though because Gravelord, excuse me, Graveguard are your elite units and so you're only gonna want maybe one unit of 20, maybe two, and have the rest of it being other death rattle skeletons or zombies. Blackguard are not bad, but Blood Knights are better. Overall, this box is okay. Next, we have the Stormcast Eternal in what I think is probably the best box in the whole collection. The start collecting box is only $85, but if you are to try and buy the individual kits or something equivalent, you'd have $282. This gives you a stupid discount of 70%. You also get 19 models and almost 1,000 points in this box. This is a crazy good deal. The only downside is you're going to need to pick up two so you can run a legal amount of retributors and prosecutors because this box for some reason only gives you three of each, whereas their minimum squad size is five. Overall, a crazy, crazy good deal. If you want to start collecting uh, Stormcast without going to Dominion or some of the other discount boxes, this is freaking amazing. Next up is start collecting Sylvaneth. This box is $95 and the individual kits come in at 150. This gives you a slightly higher than average discount of 37. You get a model count of 18 and about 515 points. I think this is one of the better start collecting boxes because of its versatility and ease of repeat buys. The kit gives you 16 dryads, which is a really weird number, but if you get two kits, you come out around 32 dryads, giving you plenty to summon and to field on your regular army. The Tree Lord kit is also incredibly versatile, letting you have three options, and the Branch Wraith, or excuse me, the Branch Witch is incredibly easy to convert to Branch Wraith, the better option. Last but not least is the Vanguard box for Magikin of Nurgle. This box is 130 US dollars. The individual kits cost 203, giving you a slightly higher than average discount of 36%. The number of models is 18, and you have a higher than average points at 740. This kit is good if you want to have a mix of demons and mortals in your Megakin of Nurgle army. You could potentially get two boxes and just convert the uh, demon hero into the Bile Piper or something else, but overall, this is not a bad kit. And that was all of the start collecting boxes broken down so you can see the best discounts. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like or a comment. And if you'd like to see more of this type of content in the future, please consider subscribing. This has been the Wargrove of Well, and I'll see you guys next time.